What up you guys, it's your girl Ashley. And it's your boy DJ, what's good? And today we are back with a reaction video to uh, Pretty Boy Fredo's and Jasmine video that they just dropped about their breakup, okay? We both had watched the video, we both felt our own type of way. So we're here to voice our opinions and basically, yeah. So if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. So do you agree with Jasmine or do you agree with Pretty Boy Fredo? Uh, I understand both, both sides of the story, but it depends on if um, they tell the truth. Like if what Jasmine is saying is true, I understand. But also, if what Fredo is saying is true, then I understand that too. So why do you? So you understand them from from both of their point of views. You understand both of their point of views. Yeah, but I mean, like as a like after watching the video, I feel for Fredo just because um, I understand if you're working hard for something. What? Talk. <laughs> I'm just looking at you. I'm just looking at you. I want to know how you feel. Okay, but I understand um, if you working hard, if you working hard for something, and then you trying to do it with another person, that other person just isn't motivating, um, motivated to do it, and then you started something. And if you gave up and sacrificed a lot of stuff to build an empire with that person, I understand and I get how frustrating that could be because I go through that sometimes with her. And I'm just being honest. What? Honestly, okay, cut. Okay. So DJ, when you say, first of all, when you say that I don't that I'm not motivated all the time, you're not motivated all the time because half the time you got your phone and you're playing poker. And you you could be pulling a prank on me instead of playing poker. I mean there's plenty of men on YouTube that get out there and do things when their wife don't have the camera. So don't try to even act like you you're this motivated guy walking around. But anyways. All I'm saying is I agree and understand um, where Fredo is coming from with the way that he felt about why he uh, no longer felt like uh, he wanted to be with Jasmine. That's all I'm saying. Okay, but at the same time, that was probably not even her like dream job, YouTube. I mean, and plus she just had had a baby. So she could be could have been gone, going through like postpartum depression. You know what I'm saying? She probably wanted to put more in energy into her baby and you know getting her mind right instead of being in front of a camera. And if she's not okay with being in front of the camera, he should be understanding to that. I mean, you guys don't know what we go through mentally and physically when we have a baby. I mean, yeah, I understand that. I'm so, just saying. Like, we started getting into the whole cheating thing, and I mean, you're saying that he cheated on Jasmine, that's what you're saying? Look, I wasn't in the relationship, but what I'm saying is, he did say that, he, she even said that he cheated, and she looked so hurt, she broke down. But in the they video, both breaking down. DJ, she was really breaking down, like, that was like some waiting to excel tears. If you've seen that movie, you know what I'm talking about. Like, okay. like put your clothes in the car and burn, burn the clothes and the car and watch it blow up. That's what those type of tears were. Okay. But okay, but listen. How do you he cheat? said How he you said cheat? that he started not to care about anything once she started not to care about the channel. So when he says that he started not to care, that means that he started not to care about the relationship. Okay. Because he felt that she wasn't putting energy into anything. But what he should have did was check on her mental health, her mental status, and you know what I'm saying? And you know, I don't know if he- He gave her, he said that he put her in therapy, he gave her therapy, and he said that she literally didn't have to do anything like for a year. So, I mean, what more do you, can you ask for? DJ, you do need your your um, partner support also. You, you just yeah. throwing a person, yeah, but he was out working. She she had his support. I mean, from what he was saying, because he, like he supported. Her. Yeah, but I feel like he 
I feel like at the same time he he could have been there hand more hands on with the baby. Cause how are you supposed to get your mind right out of therapy, have time for yourself when you're constantly do you know taking care of the baby? Like, but how are you supposed to grow on your YouTube channel the way that he's trying to be? I mean, uh, you are. We know how hard the grind is when it comes to these videos. We not perfect. We don't like always put the videos out and upload the way we want to and should. But I mean, it's a grind. So it is a I, grind. I understand him sacrificing the time to go out and like make these videos happen. And it really, I mean, at the end of the day, he putting a roof over the head and making sure that they have something like an empire dynasty something for their kid too not just like them and they they live the way they do as a result of the hard work i mean so like i can understand him yeah he did do like a lot of hard work and I, like i'm not gonna take that from him he built something beautiful he's driving all these fancy cars he, they have a beautiful house like everything that she or he probably wants or their daughter wants they have it but at the same time why are you why are your legs moving <laughs> But, um, but at the same time, I feel like he was probably, he was working hard too, but he was probably, you know, having fun too. And once he started not to care, he was probably even having, okay. and, and okay, so we was talking about, we was talking about how he told her that he didn't want to be in a relationship with her anymore. And you felt like after he said that, it was okay for him to go and do what he wanted, even though they was living together. If you tell a person that you don't want to be with them no more, if you make that evident, then you obviously, like, it's like, it, it's not a surprise. Cheating is more along the lines of y'all, you think y'all cool, and then the dude steps out on the wife anyways. He let her know how he felt from the jump. I mean, according to what he said in the video, he had been let her know before he even ever did anything that's considered cheating. And um, Jasmine, you know, like she was saying they were both still living together though. And so it didn't really feel fully like they were separated because they were always together still. And they still lived under the same roof. But at the same time, there were days that he claimed that he had went up to her and like told her he just didn't get, like he didn't care. He didn't care about the relationship. It wasn't his priority and stuff like that. I mean, so if you go to a person to say that to their face, I mean, to me, that sounds like y'all ain't together. To me, it sounds like, I mean, that's like, what do you think is gonna happen? If I'm telling you I don't care about the relationship no more, I don't want the relationship no more, then yeah. So I, are it, you saying he's lying about, she's lying about him cheating? That is all a figment of her imagination? I'm saying that it's not considered cheating. It is. It's he could have He could have at least, because he said he started <laughs> not to give a care right after, after she said she didn't want to do YouTube anymore. She was okay. like, he was like, okay, if you don't care about the channel, then I don't care about the relationship. Okay. So that gives you an excuse to go and do video with girls and go do videos with your ex and things like that. And then he tried to make it seem like she was chasing after him. Like He said that he had been his original channel and sacrificed a lot to grow a channel where that actually was doing good. And he didn't have to abandon it. He could have been working on two different channels. He could have been, I mean, as busy as this man was 24-7, he could have been like working on his channel because for you not to be hands-on with your with your kid i mean you have to have enough time to do both videos i mean a baby is a 24 7 job okay also in the video he kept saying i i i i and she couldn't even hardly talk did you notice that she was she couldn't hardly talk and when and she he kept like using the guilt the guilt trip on her he was like he was like, you just didn't care, so I didn't care. Da, 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 da. And she's sitting there like, you know, he started even to get loud, loud, loud and angry with her. Like, First of all, Fredo is always loud in his videos. So that might just be his personality. DJ. Not fully like this one being there. What happened when we ran into him at Uptown? He was not loud at all. Yeah, he, he act different in person. He definitely acts different in person. Okay, you guys. Okay, we nah, live in. I don't want to talk about. No, it. we are gonna talk no. about. It. No, because no, no, no. This video is about Jasmine and Fredo. Okay, so 
a couple months ago, my husband, me, my husband, and son, we went to Uptown. We was um, by the fountain and we seen Pretty Boy Fredo and his friends walk by and they was looking at us too. So DJ was like, that's Fredo. And I was like, you're lying. And he was like, no, why would I lie? And I was like, why wouldn't you lie? So <laughs> it was so corny. So I was like, maybe that was him. So we put the baby in the stroller, our two year old, and we start going across this, we started like, looking for him going to the other side of the park we finally ran into him my husband walks up to him and was like hey man hey you gonna do another one of those silent library videos Fredo ends up picking his nose and was like nah man and just walks off like nonchalant you know what i'm saying he wasn't friendly and then um he ends up walking Fredo ends up walking past me and i was like hey pretty boy Fredo." and he was like he kind of he was just like hey and then just kept walking so I'm like, we ran all the way across the park to talk to you to, you know what I'm saying? And you want to just have this like behavior, you know what I'm saying? Like he, he was, he's not happy go lucky. Like he is in all these videos. He wasn't with us at least. Fredo has built an empire. I give him that. He has taken great care of his family. I will give him that. And I am inspired by how motivated he grinds for his family. But I disagree with him not giving a care because she didn't want to do um the youtube thing like i said she was probably going through postpartum depression and she prop youtube's probably not her dream okay and he should have supported that you know what i'm saying also this last thing i'm gonna say i feel like the video that he made was to pretty much get his point across but hardly not give her any room to talk if you're going to invite her over to your channel, don't make it about you. At least hear her out. So that's my conclusion about it. What's your conclusion before we get into this other topic? I don't, I don't know if I have a conclusion. I'm, I'm just trying to, uh, like I said, I understand both sides. 